a genius, thinks he's so smart. There's a kind of big brotherism when it comes down to psychics, mediums, new ages and the like. I'm happy to be nuts. They claim they can know more about you. That they can astral project into your home. That I saw when I remote viewed you, Robert. That they can spy on you. They can sense your energy. That they can read your aura. That they can get into your very deepest thoughts. Now you might say, hang on, I'm a new ager. I don't mean me as in Robert, I mean you as in potentially a viewer. And I don't do that. That's because you're sane, <laughs> to be entirely frank. You're a relatively rational human being in most ways. perhaps. Or maybe you just have different biases. But there are a great many so-called experts and pseudo-experts, whatever particular rank and file they happen to belong to. And these people will say, they know what you're thinking, they know what you're like, they know how you live, they know this, they know that. How do you know it? Magic. I believe I am psychic. That, that's basically what it comes down to. And you know it's magic as well. You know it's magical thinking. And a kind of wishful thinking to, you know, stamp on their critics. Damn shit, respect my fucking authority! Yeah! Because they cannot provide evidence. If a person claims to know your mindset from watching your video, and you say, how do you know that? Spirit told me. Okay, get them to tell you something interesting. I keep an item on my mantelpiece. It's green. What is it? No? Nothing? No? Oh, okay. What? Surely you should be able to say these things. Oh, what is there here? What is there there? You just simply get, oh, right, um... There, Robert is a very mixed name. I mean, I have to say, I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis. This person doesn't agree with my worldview, and therefore they must be a bad person. Completely made me see crystal clear that you are involved with my ex's lovely wife. It's the same sort of thinking as you get with religious people. So he, for a guy like this to spend all this time focusing on things he claims he doesn't believe in, that makes zero sense. This is the psychosis. It's kind of problematic that we have to deal with this kind of bullshit from people. Oh right, you're an atheist, therefore you're this. Oh right, you're a skeptic, therefore you're this. Oh right, you don't believe in my fairies at the bottom of the fucking garden. Hey, you need to watch your mouth, right? Therefore, you're like this. If anyone you speak to talks in this kind of way shit, and they, it's like all oh, right you don't have the right kind of belief therefore you're automatically an asshole well they're the asshole evidently no even worse than that is it's this gigantic ass and it's talking bollocks they're the complete and utter prick who really should know better i am either gonna fly or ruin that family's picnic hey you've ruined our picnic psychic I'm happy to be nuts.